Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Street art began as illegal graffiti for protests, where the urban backdrop provided the means to unite people and voice their desires for change. Some murals are just art that adds life to our cities. The good thing about street arts is that it's out in the open, looking like an outdoor art gallery that's free for everyone. They are very important in our cities in that they leave a stencil-shaped mark on the contemporary art world. Today, we have compiled for you the best art destinations to help you create your ultimate bucket list with the best urban murals in the world. Here are the best graffiti and murals in the world. Number 10. I Heart, Nobody Likes Me, Stanley Park, Vancouver, Canada This is one of Vancouver's best street arts that were created by I Heart in 2014. It is located in Stanley Park, and it paints a sad reality of today's social media-driven society. The painting is called Nobody Likes Me, and it depicts an arguably young boy holding a mobile phone. His face shows that he's crying over having zero likes, comments, and even followers on his Instagram. iHeart wanted to tell the world that though we are permanently connected, we are simultaneously permanently disconnected from each other. We now need validation and Instagram likes have become the way of getting it. It has become a means for measuring self-worth. iHeart had a goal of changing the world when making this art. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 9. Dimitri Vrubel My God, help me to survive this deadly love, Berlin Wall, Germany after the fall of the German Democratic Republic in 1990, the Berlin Wall fell and part of the wall was transformed into an open art gallery, the East Side Gallery. Among the many murals and graffiti paintings that were put on these walls was Dmitri Vrubel's mural, My God, Help Me to Survive This Deadly Love. This was a painted representation of the original photograph of the Brezhnev Honecker kiss that was captured by Basu. This original photograph became an iconic image that resulted in many new reinterpretations later words. Sometime in 2011, the Unhate Foundation made many photoshopped images of world leaders locking lips in an attempt to recreate the image. The famous mural depicts Soviet Communist Party General Secretary Leonid Brezhnev kissing East German leader Erich Honecker on the lips. This was known as the Fraternal Kiss, and had its meaning in the strength of the connection between the German Democratic Republic and the Soviet Union. Years later, after the image was captured, it was repopularized and found itself on the Berlin Wall. Number 8. Lady Pink, Faith in Women, Minneapolis, USA Lady Pink is known for being the first woman recognized in the world of graffiti. She started her work during a time when women were lowered and men dominated the world. She had to work extra hard to show that she could do anything a man could do, especially in the graffiti world, and earned a place for herself in that world. Most of the time, she was never taken seriously as a street artist, making this her strength. In her arts, she speaks about women's issues because, as a woman, they are relevant in her life. Her works included strong women and mostly carried feminist messages. One of her pieces, Faith in Women, not only takes a stance on women's issues, but also includes strong anti-war symbolism. This certain piece is interpreted to mean that women can put a stop to this horror caused by war and do everything men can do. Her paintings are highly prized by collectors. Number 7. Invader, Spider-Man, Paris, France Inspired by video games from the early 1980s, Invader has created sculpted murals around the world painting superheroes, fantastic figures, and gaming icons. He is well known for his various installations in public places and for also taking great lengths to keep his identity a secret. In 2013, Invader unveiled a massive Spider-Man very high up in the 11th arrondissement that can be seen around Avenue de l'Opera in Paris. The Spider-Man hangs upside down from a chimney and just beside it is a spider also hanging upside down. 
His work has been cycling around the internet to the delight of people everywhere which made him adopt a new strategy to avoid his works from being removed by profiteers. Since people loved his work, he put out a call on social media for building owners who would be willing to host his mosaics legally. Things turned out well for the French artist. Number 6. Shepherd Ferry, Make Art Not War, Santa Fe, USA Shepard Ferry is a world-renowned, multifaceted artist best known for his iconic 2008 Hope portrait of Barack Obama. He was born on February 15, 1970 in Charleston, South Carolina, in the United States. Shepard Ferry became very interested in art at a young age. He started as a skateboard-obsessed art student and later began to use his drawings in t-shirts and skateboards. This Make Art Not War mural on the quad at Santa Fe University of Art and Design got the hearts of many people around the world. The arc of paper displays the petals in a rose topping a woman's swirls of hair. The slogans being Eyes Open and Mind Open, the image shows equal parts fairy queen and rolling paper diva. The woman at the center being a hybrid crossing both genres and generations in a timeless gesture. Isn't it amazing how one picture can give meaning to something and help inspire people? What's your favorite graffiti or mural so far? Tell us in the comments down below. Number 5. Banksy, Girl with Balloon, London, UK Banksy was born in Bristol, United Kingdom in 1974. Unlike all the other artists, Banksy is very secretive. His fans don't know how he looks, but can only get a sense of what type of person he is by his artworks. He has won the hearts of many people with his thought-provoking stencil works. His works are mainly recognized in the streets of London and other places, which would always appear instantly overnight. One of the most celebrated and iconic works is the Balloon Girl. It shows a girl standing with her hair blowing in the wind. She's wearing a dress and seems to be releasing or reaching for a red heart-shaped balloon. According to how someone may interpret it, the balloon may have slipped from her hands and flew out of reach, or it may be descending to her from above. The text, There is always hope, is seen beside the stencil work. The red balloon is said to be associated with the fragility of dreams, innocence, hope, and love. Whether you see the girl as losing the balloon or about to catch it, there is no doubt that this picture is one of the best artworks of Banksy that gave him huge notoriety. Number 4. Phil's Factory Worker, Chun Wan, Hong Kong Alexander Farto, also known as Vils, carved a portrait of a former factory worker on the wall of a Nanfeng Textiles building that is located in Chun Wan, which has been transformed into a creative hub called The Mills. He started as a graffiti artist before bringing his carvings on the walls of cities. By using hammer drills and chisels, Vils carves the face of a woman. He later said that he drew his inspiration from the research into the history of the employees of Nanfeng Cotton. Number 3. Keith Haring, We the Youth, Philadelphia, USA We the Youth is a mural located at the 22nd and Ellsworth Streets. It was created in collaboration with 14 high school students from Philadelphia and New York together with the iconic pop artist Keith Haring. The mural serves as a testimony of Herring's artistic vision. It employs a childlike innocence, lyrical characters, and the primary colored beauty of mural arts. In front of the mural is a public park where you can sit and observe the mural up close. When a new owner bought the home that the mural was painted on, Mural Arts, with the support of the Keith Herring Foundation, adopted the mural as part of its restoration program a program that maintains important pieces of public art. The We the Youth mural remains the only collaborative mural by Herring that is in sight and still intact. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in our future videos. Number 2. Smug New Mural in Limerick, Ireland You wouldn't believe me when I say that this art was painted using spray paint alone. Okay, maybe some will. 
A Scottish artist known as Smug painted a startling bearded man eyeing up a terrifying eyeball-adorned ice cream near King John's Castle in Limerick. The hilarious and also interesting part of the portrait is that the bearded man has a Hello Kitty tattoo on his neck. Smug was probably trying to make it look less creepy by adding the Hello Kitty tattoo. The mural is the most striking piece of street art in the city and was commissioned by Limerick City Council as part of a Make a Move festival. Number 1. Lonak Buzz Off One of the most talented street artists in Europe is a Croatian artist known as Lonak. He has earned himself a reputation as a photorealistic maestro in that his graphics always tell a story. His new piece is located somewhere on the streets of Zagreb in Croatia. It is called Buzzed Off and portrays photorealistic elements with minimal graphics forming in a very unique way. Just beside the work, it is written, F off, I fish to paint anything else. His paintings have made him achieve worldwide attention. Seeing all these wonderful pieces makes me appreciate artists more. If you're planning to visit these places, I'm certain that you'll have a worthy vacation.